everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. I hope you are having a beautiful day or night, as the case may be, wherever you are on the planet today. I wanted to just hop on really quick. It's almost New Year's. It is after Christmas 2018 and share with you the beautiful gift I got from my husband this Christmas. It's amazing. Now, I have to say that when I first opened my eyes and saw it, I was a little I was a little resistant to it because I know the kind of work this particular spiritual tool does. I know how deep it can go. I also know how strong that it is. What I'm speaking of specifically is the Smoky Quartz Crystal. Smoky Quartz Crystal. Now, this is a huge specimen. It has, I don't know if you can see, it actually has there, it has phantoms within it, which is amazing. Many record keepers, this thing, I have to tell you, when I placed my hand on it on Christmas day, electricity started just moving around my head and in the area of my crown and also in the area of my third eye. I just felt the power of this incredible piece of crystal. Now, I have to tell you, I didn't really know <laughs> whether I was going to keep it. First of all, this is huge. It's quite expensive. And second of all, I didn't know whether I was ready to do the work that I can do with this particular crystal. Now, if you don't know, smoky quartz crystals, well, they do a lot. There's a lot of different properties, especially metaphysical properties. One of those properties is it helps us to work in the realm of the mysterious. It helps to activate the intuition and the perception, expand the consciousness, which of course I am all about. But one of the primary functions of the smoky quartz crystal is to ground us, to center and balance us, and to also help us transmute negative energy, negative patterns, to shift that out of our life, our body, our field, and transmute it into a different type of energy. As you know, energy doesn't just stop or die, energy just changes. And so as we release negative energy, we can transmute it into something that's productive or uh, resourceful. And smoky quartz will help us to do that. So anybody who's trying to work through trauma, work through patterns, work through challenges and thematic, like life thematic or karmic issues, would be very benefited by a smoky quartz, especially one like this. Now this guy has got to be at least hundreds of thousands of years old and more probably is millions of years old. He's got two tips, one small one on this end, and of course, the large point here on this end. Now, when working with a smoky quartz point, you want to point the or direct away from the body the largest point, and you want to point that into the earth because when you are releasing your energy, you're releasing your negative patterns. It actually flows from you into the earth, into Gaia. And I imagine it as flowing out of me down into the heart or the crystalline core of Gaia where Gaia then transmutes the energy. I actually worked with this a little bit today finally. It took me a few days. It's when was Christmas? It was four or five days ago. Finally, I went outside today. I took my shoes off. I'm in North Texas, so it's not too cold. I was able to stand in the grass and say a prayer and pick up this big crystal and allowing the patterns and allowing the themes to bubble to the surface. And when they did, I just I gave them space to be there. I loved the me that I was when these issues and patterns were first placed within me or created within me. I loved myself through the process, but then with intention and with a prayer, I released those anxieties, those fears, those issues, and this smoky quartz crystal transmuted them. And it was really powerful. I've worked with a lot of spiritual tools in my day, and this has to be one of the most, if not the most powerful crystal I've ever encountered. So I wanted to pop onto YouTube and share this with you. And um, just in gratitude, say thank you to my husband and thank you to this new partner that's in my life. And I do want to say that's what crystals are. Crystals don't belong to us. Just like our pets don't really belong to us or our kids. They don't belong to us. In their, their spirits, they have consciousness. And they have their own energy and crystals come into this world, come into our experience with their own energy. This guy here, he's programmed to do a certain type of work. 
he's programmed with a certain kind of energy. And in our partnership, we calibrate to one another. We become a match for one another. And I honor the consciousness of this crystal. And that's the way I think we all should work with our crystals. They don't belong to us. They simply are with us. And for that, we should be grateful. Anyway, I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. I sure did. And I wish everybody a happy new year and a wonderful 2019. Love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.